Nebraska. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 20, verse 24. Because they have not executed my judgments. Because we have these false pastors who do not execute God's judgments, we. But have despised my statutes and have polluted my Sabbath. They have despised the Most High God's laws. And they polluted the Sabbath. Today is one of his Sabbaths. Every Friday sundown to Saturday sundown is the Sabbath of the Lord. Every new moon is the Sabbath of the Lord. The Most High ordained these days for us. And we pollute them. We. And their eyes were after their father's idols. And our eyes after our father's idols. Our fathers got out the slaves. Give me Deuteronomy 2864. I'm going to show you what the idols are of our fathers that our eyes were after then and they after now. Going all the way back into Egypt and what we got off the boat. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among the, our people. So we were scattered in slavery on slave ships across the four corners of the earth. Read. From the one end of the earth even to the other. Read. And there thou shalt serve other gods. He said, and wherever I scattered you, you shall serve other gods. Read. Which neither th nor thy fathers have known. Which neither us nor our fathers have known. What, what are those gods? What are those idols? Read. Even wood and stone. Even what? Even wood and stone. The gods of the other nations that we serve, wood and stone. What, what does wood represent? What major religion is represented by wood? Who? No. Christianity. The crucifix, the wood cross, that's the, re that's the religion that is represented by wood. It says even wood and stone. What world religion is known for worshiping the stone? No, uh, no not Christmas. Wood, wood and stone. Christianity and Islam. Christianity. Say it again. That cross you got on is pagan. You see that? Well, give me a Becca too real quick. Say the law on that. A Becca, chapter 2, verse 18. What profited the graven image that the maker thereof have graven it? So these images, wood and stone, that the maker made them, what profit is it in? Read. The molten image and, and a teacher of lies. Because this image, the very image you have in your neck is the same image that you used to conquer your people. The same image they used to conquer the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans. Because when they came with the false image of Christ, they came with their cross as well. It's a pagan symbol. Alright? Now, read Matthew 10, starting verse 34. The book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 34. So we're gonna deal with dealing with the so-called family members and dealing with bearing your own cross. Let's go. Think not that I come to set peace on earth. I came not to set peace. So this is Christ speaking in red letters. He first established that he ain't coming to set peace on earth. Because that's what everybody been told church. But Christ never said that. The only peace Christ coming back for is the peace between the northern and the southern kingdom. That's right. That's the only peace you find in the Bible. Other than that, he says, think not what? But a sword. I come to send sword, meaning destruction. Read. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother. Christ said he came to set variance from the father, his son, the mother, the daughter. Read. You know what that means, variance? That means he's going to put enmity between you and the kids. So basically, y'all going to hate each other. It's going to be different between you. When you choose to follow Christ, like we've done, we've lost family members. Because we don't care what they say. We don't care what the lying pastor say. We care about what Christ himself said. That's right. And this is what he said. Read on. And the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. And a man's foes. And your enemy shall be who? shall be they of his own household. You come to follow the real Messiah, not that image, and not that cross on your neck, but the real image as recorded in uh, Revelation, the first chapter. This is what he says is coming to you. Your foes are going to be they of your own household, your enemies. Read. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. If you love your family here on this earth, 
one that follow what Christ said, when he said keep my commandments, if you love them more than keeping the commandments, they're not worthy of him. Read. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me. If you love your son or your daughter, your own seed more than him. If you would break his commandments to appease them, because daddy, I want Christmas gifts. But you say no, Christmas is not in the Bible, he reward you for that. But if your kids say, Daddy, I want Christmas gifts, and you know the Bible speaks against that, and you do it anyway, guess what? Read on. It's not worthy of me. You are not worthy of Christ. You're not worthy of the sacrifice he made for you. Because you're not doing nothing he said. Read on. And he that taketh not his cross. And he that do what? Taketh not his cross. When he says he that taketh not up his cross, meaning what? Whatever sin you in, you got to take up that cross. You got to say, I'm going to stop doing that. Because why? Christ died on the cross for our sins so that we have a chance to get in. Without him, give me uh, Hebrews 9.22. Without Christ dying on the cross, guess what happens? What happens? If Christ did not die on the cross, what happens? Right. You, I mean, we still live in sins even though he died on the cross. We, we born in sin, but the difference is, when Christ died on the cross, he gave us a way to still get to the Father. That's what happened. Because at first we gave sacrifices, right? At first we gave sacrifices. But when Christ came, no longer did we give sacrifices. But this had to happen. Read this. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood. Almost all things are purged. It says almost all things are purged with blood. The one thing that's not purged with blood is blaspheme of the Holy Ghost. Meaning blaspheme of the law. We don't. And, and almost all things are by the law purged with blood. And without shedding of blood is no remission. Without the shedding of blood, without the shedding of the blood of Christ, there is no remission of your sins. Read on. Who cares about sin when people are starving on their fucking feet out here? That takes out people starving on their feet. You know why people are starving? They're starving on their feet. You know why people are starving? Because Negroes like you won't keep God's commandments and do nothing about it. That's right. You don't do nothing about it. You don't do nothing about it. You do nothing about it. When you start keeping money, don't answer nothing if you ain't keeping God's commandments. That's a foolish man. That's a foolish man. Two dollars. What is that going to do for a nation? What is that going to do for a nation? I will feed somebody tonight. I'm going to show you something. Hold on, let me finish this. I'm going to show this fool something. Go ahead. They're going to do. They're going to do. They're going to do. They're going to do. And follow it after me. So if you that don't take up your cross, you'll deal with your sin and follow after Christ. What does it mean to follow after Christ before I move on? I have no sins that sins don't exist. What does it mean to follow after Christ? You made them up. Don't listen to me. What does it mean to follow after Christ? Sins don't exist. What does it mean to follow after Christ? I met this man tonight. What did you do? What did you do? Did you read something from somebody else? Somebody wrote? Christ break the commandments. I'm sorry. So if you say I'm a Christian, I follow Christ. All right. First of all, you don't say Christian. I just spent this man tonight. I just spent this man tonight. What did you do? Christian is not. It was made. Christian is in the Bible. What did you do? That's what time. You do. Exactly. And who would call Christians? To be a Christian, you have to be an Israelite. I'm going to make it simple for you. Read on. It's not worthy of me. He did not read it again. If you don't follow Christ, then that what? Worthy of me. What did you do? He that fighting his life. If you believe that what you have is the answer and that God's word is not the answer, guess what? You're going to lose your life. And he that loses his life for my sake shall And I'm going to avoid motherfucking work. Who else is going to work? So, that shows you. See, he didn't have to. He didn't want to really listen. He didn't want to know what it really meant to bear your cross. He didn't really want to see what it takes to get the kingdom. He just wanted to voice his opinion. But God's laws tell you. There's a certain thing you have to do in order to receive benefits. Joshua 1 and 8 tells you, meditate on my word, and then you'll be successful. He didn't say throw $5 bills up, $1 bills up. Bring it out. They ain't going to do nothing for your community. All they're going to do now is go buy drugs. Now they're going to go buy K2 and smoke with you. Now they're going to buy some weed. All you did was beat the belly of the beast. Read that. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 for the, for the foolish man who doesn't know God's word This is what it says about feeding the people Pick up a Bible and read one day Read Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 
empty jet to four verse four. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. People out here starving and hungry. There's a reason for it. You don't know your nationality. You don't know God's laws. You don't know how to run a community. You don't know how to organize. You run about voting because the heathens told you to go vote. What is voting going to do? What is throwing a dollar going to do? Nothing. You have to change your community from within yourself first. That's right. Then you can go help a brother. That dang dollar bill. Get out of here. You're mad. Read that again. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. That's how you live. That's how you feed the people. Because you can give them a dollar. You can give them five dollars. He ain't do nothing but try to flip it and go buy drugs. Because that's what happens. You think we dumb? Why do you think we out here amongst our people? We know what you do. That's right. That's why we're here. But you want to be justified in your wickedness. Now you think you're righteous because you were seen of men throwing money. You're a fool and you're an idiot. You better wake up. Israel, it's time to wake up to who you are. It's time to repent. That's right. That's right. It's time to stop being niggas and coons. Be who the Bible told you to be. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates from all our YouTube channels. Shalom.